Sometimes it might be easier for us to communicate using Microsoft Teams. You can do that by going on to Office 365 and using your university account to run the Microsoft Teams app. If you've got it installed on your computer, then you can hit the Start button and begin typing Teams and hit Enter. And then it will open up the Teams app. Generally, you will have been asked by one of the members of staff on the SDAM to contact us using Teams so that we have a little bit more control over our interaction when sharing a screen. If you were going to contact us, you could, for example, in the search button, start typing the name or the surname and it will show a list of matches. Now I want to contact Jan, so I'm going to click on here and then I'm going to initiate a video call. Hi Jan. Good morning. Right, so um, this is what it will look like to begin with if we're having a video conversation. That won't necessarily be required, so uh, Jan, could you turn off your video, please? So this is what it would look like when not using a video. Jan, could you share your screen, please? And that will be done by clicking on the share icon in the toolbar at the bottom and then selecting desktop. Usually selecting the desktop is the better option because it allows us to move between applications should that be necessary. Now Jan's sharing a Python file that uh, has got some errors in it and okay in a small thing like this I could just tell her using Blackboard Collaborate what changes are needed but sometimes it's a little bit more complicated than that and so I might want to have control over her screen so that I'm able to do the typing. Now for me to do that I'm going to request control and then Jan will be able to uh, grant the access. Now having done that and uh, minimized the bit at the bottom there, that way we can see the entire screen, you can see that there are two mouse cursors on screen now. Mine is following mine, my movements, and Jan's are following her movement. And they're labeled so we can see whose is whose. So this is all being done now on Jan's computer. Well I can say, look Jan, you've forgotten the brackets, so I'm going to put them in for you. So there's a close bracket and I'll click on there and put in the open bracket. And so we can have our conversation because you can still hear me, can't you, Jan? Yes, I can indeed. Thank oh. you for putting those brackets on for me. <laughs> You're welcome. And uh, when we finish consultation, if you were to end control or indeed I'm going to stop control, it means that I no longer have access to Jan's computer and when we finish the conversation, we can then uh, hang up. So, Jan, if you'd like to hang up, please. Thanks for your help. My pleasure. Bye-bye. Bye. And so, Jan has left the chat, and all that's left now for me to do is to go back into Blackboard Collaborate to see who else needs some assistance during our SDAM practical session.